This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus ROG Republic of Gamers G750J laptop computer, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus G750J laptop computer. Before we start, a couple of things we need to do. Uh, we need to identify the model number and remove the battery. So to do this, we're going to close the lid and flip this massive laptop over on its back and remove the battery. Battery's in the center, you just, you just slide the lever, the battery lifts up and it comes out. Okay, next we need to modify the, uh, identify the model number. So there's two stickers. One is behind the battery. If you look closely, you can see at the very top line, it says G750J. The other spot is on the barcode tag. It says uh, G750JS dash DS71. Okay, once we do that, we flip the laptop back over. This one needs some muscle to manipulate. And next we're gonna take a look at the tools that we're gonna use for this laptop. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size of the screwdriver. We have a smaller PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. We're actually going to use this one in this procedure. Pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables, remove any screws that may be stuck. A hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. And a spudger, and that's used as a prying tool. Okay, so to get to the screen, we need to remove the screen bezel to get to the screen assembly. And to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some triangular rubber covers. So we start off by removing the rubber covers. We can do that with the spudger. And what I like to do is attach them to the side so we don't lose them. And we go around all four corners to do that and on the bottom three and finally the fourth one okay next we're going to remove the screws and we use our ph zero screwdriver for that and for each step for each set of screws i like to keep them in a separate pile especially in this model and that helps me keep track of where which screws go where once we're putting the laptop back together this one has it's a procedure is more elaborate so it's going to have more screws than a standard laptop so this it helps to keep the screws organized three and four okay next we're going to snap off the screen bezel. To do this, uh, put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side. Try to get a good, good grip on the screen bezel on the inside and pull, pull outwards, up, upwards and outwards. And work your way around the screen bezel and if you get stuck at a certain point, just go on to the next point and come back to that point down the road. Uh, this time it's not too hard because this screen bezel has previously been removed. It, 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 might be, it might be a little bit harder in your case, so just take your time on this. Okay, let's take a look at the screen assembly. Uh, the screen is secured by quite a few screws and also there's additional mounting brackets at the top and the bottom that need to be removed. That's are usually not present in most other laptops. So um, basically uh, just start to work your way around the screen assembly and remove 
pretty much every screw that you see in the screen assembly that's visible to you because none of the screws are holding the hinges so they're, those are behind. So start from the left, go all the way around and remove the screws. There are smaller screws on the sides here and here and here here on the bottom that you have to use the smaller the smaller PH00 screwdriver. Okay, but right now we're going to start from the left and go to the right. And once again, uh, all these screws are the same size so you can keep all these screws in the same pile. And this mounting bracket is going to jump out a little bit because it was previously removed and bent a little bit. So it shouldn't happen in your case. Okay, and... And if any screws happen to fall into the assembly, you can dig it out with the tweezers. Okay, once we do that, we remove all the screws across the top, we can remove this metal bracket out of the top. And then let's go to the bottom. So actually, uh, yeah, so we keep removing all the screws. So, and then we'll, we'll start a separate pile for the screws on the bottom. There's another bracket, metal bracket, that comes out on the bottom, but that comes out with the screen. So you have to be a little bit careful with that one because that holds the video cable in. Okay, so we have four screws on each side. Now they're the bigger ones. And finally got this one out. Okay, next we're going to switch to the smaller screwdriver that we have and remove the smaller screws. Be careful not to lose these and start a separate pile with these. So for the smaller screws there should be four total of those. I don't know why they did it this way but that's how they did it. three and four. Okay, next we're gonna gently manipulate the screen so we can remove it from the screen assembly. So there's still, make sure there's still not stuff holding it together. And there is, we missed two of the smaller screws. So there should be six of the smaller screws. So when you're taking a a laptop apart if things don't move then it's an obvious sign that you missed some screws somewhere they may be hiding in different places okay let's try again and it comes out okay so slowly lower the screen and this bottom bracket comes out so this bracket is a little bit tricky in that it's partly mounted behind the screen and also, it's partly mounted behind the screen, and also it's holding back the it's the cable, the video cable. So you got to make sure that this bottom bracket comes out, and it actually fits like this. So it's mounted behind the screen like this, and when the screen goes in, you have to make sure that this bracket's there, and the cable is tucked in behind it. Okay, so we're going to put down the screen and unthread the video cable a little bit so we have more room to work with. And the next step we're going to do is separate the video, the connector, remove the connector from the screen so we can work on the screen. Okay, for this part, we the connector is secured by some adhesive tape, so we have to use the hobby knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape. Uh, this tape has been previously removed. It's going to be a little bit harder for you. So just 
lift up the corner just enough so you can grab it with your fingertips and it's adhered to the foil I mean to the plastic sheet on the screen so make sure you don't damage that and pull the adhesive tape back and there's also adhesive on the back of the connector so lift that up a little bit and then gently slide the connector out like so. I'm going to reconnect it to show you how to reconnect. When you connect it, slide it back in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up of the connection. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam, in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's remove this connector again. And before one more step we have to take is there's some metal brackets securing the screen. So we have to remove those. And we're going to try start using our bigger screwdriver, see if it fits. And it does fit. And once again, we're going to have a different pile for this set of screws because they're slightly different than the other set of screws. The, they're the same size, but the, these use the PH0 screwdriver and these use the smaller screwdriver. So you don't want to confuse them. So there's three screws on each side. There's two. And three. Okay, and now we have the bracket. This is the right bracket. So it says right on the bracket itself. And take note how it's mounted because it can be confusing sometimes how it's mounted. So just look at it, how it's mounted and put it the same way on the right side of the laptop so you can keep track of that. Okay, next we're going to remove the screws from the left side of the screen, same procedure. There's, and these are a little bit smaller screws, so be very careful not to lose these and put them in this last pile again. 